Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am the Disc Golf Nerd. It's time once again to take another look at a stack of plastic for Fresh Plastic Friday. We have some new stuff from new to the channel company, Eurodisc. They just kind of launched their USA division, so it'll be the first time I'm showing off any of that plastic here on the channel. I have some new stuff made by one of my main sponsors, NSH Custom Discs. And we're going to lead off with another offering from Jester Discs, and this is the Peace Train. It's the second release from this company, and this is a mid-range. The flight numbers are probably easiest to see them on this disc. 5, 4, negative 2, and 1. I'd go ahead and give it a 5 for glide as well. Most mid-ranges do, and I think this thing definitely keeps up in terms of the glide uh, compared to most most other 5 speeds on the market. It seems like they're all 5.5. Five. <laughs> you ever notice that? They're like a million discs that are 5.5, five, negative 1, 1, 5.5, five, 0, 1. They all seem to have 5 glide. I go ahead and, and do the same for the Peace Train. The thing I really like about this thing, first of all, these are just gorgeous. Look at the epic metallic swirls on these things. Stunning plastic. Really, really nice, high quality feel in the hand. This one, super sick. Um, and then this, this blue one's a little tricky to film, but out in the sunlight, it really refracts a ton of light. It really glitters. Really beautiful looking disc. And then this is the one that I've thrown the most. I probably like the flight best. It is max weight. And it's just like a more basic, opaque, taffy plastic. Also, one of the cool things about the Peace Train that kind of uh, attracted me to it right away when I started checking it out is it reminds me very much of my beloved Gobi. Now, you guys know this thing has been out of production for quite a while. They only made it for a short period of time. These are quite difficult to obtain at this point. They're kind of expensive. And the Peace Train actually, that's probably about as close to a viable option in terms of a Gobi replacement that is currently available and in production. So if I ever stop throwing Gobies for whatever reason or lost the ones that I'm holding on to somehow, uh, this would definitely be the first disc I'd kind of go to to kind of emulate that. And I think they could probably work together as well because the Peace Train is a little bit more understable. Um, so I think I could probably throw one of my more stable Gobies in the bag and complement it with the Peace Train. I'm having some trouble with the Fuse lately, so I might mess around with this Peace Train more. Really nice, smooth flyer. But Jester Disc has been great to work with so far. They've hooked me up with their other mold that has a full review on the channel I just posted the other day called the Love Putter awesome disc really really nice flyer and the peace train is a great addition to the lineup as well and they will have a uh, fairway driver coming soon as well that i hope to hopefully check out before we go any further i just wanted to let you guys know that this might be the last one of these mail call videos you see for a little while i don't have any uh, concrete plans to bring in anything else specifically into the uh, inventory right now so might be a little while before I post another one of these videos. Maybe these have kind of run their course a little bit. It was a really awesome way for me to show off a ton of different plastic that I would never have had the time to review um, each one of these discs. I've showed off in these unboxing videos over the last couple of years, so that's part, part of why I did it. It's just a really easy way to show off a ton of different stuff and help spread the word for companies you guys might not know of as well, like Eurodisc. They just kind of uh, launched their, their USA marketing and distribution and stuff and they hit me up to see if I wanted to check out any of their plastic and I was happy to do so and this is the first time trying any plastic that's made in Germany. So we have the fairway driver which is the transporter, we have the transition mid-range, funny it's got an angler fish on it like the uh, Wild Discs angler that I reviewed recently as well. Um, nice straight flying mid-range and then they also have the delivery putter. This one's in the more baseline plastic and you can see these are really interesting because they have like a printed uh, stamp on them. It's not a hot stamp. It's not a foil stamp. It's actually printed more similar to like a Dimax type of thing. So it has a little bit of a smooth kind of feel to it under the hand. And then the plastic itself for these is kind of rubbery. And these kind of remind me of, I don't know, maybe like AVR type shape, very classic putter shape. Backhand throwing these, I turn them over a little bit uh, easier than I wanted to. Could have been me. Sometimes you just kind of twist your wrist too much and the disc turns over and it won't come back at all in the, under those circumstances because it definitely doesn't have any fade. 2300 are the flight numbers on this thing, but a good feel. I think it would be a solid beginner disc for approaches and putting and I think a, a, you know, a good all-around point-and-shoot putter inside the circle. This whole lineup, in fact, would actually make a, a pretty sweet beginner kind of starter pack as well. So the transition mid-range, I have two of these that are basically identical. I don't think the weight is marked on these. You can see they got some nice swirls going on. And on the bottom, maybe you can see it says new games. 
made in Germany, Eurodisc.biz. So yeah, they make uh, Ultimate Discs and Freestyle Discs and stuff as well. And these are some of their first golf discs making their way to the United States from what I understand. 5500, I'd say those are pretty pretty spot on. There you go, 5500. <laughs> there we go, that's just what we were talking about. No real uh, natural turn on these, they're just kind of neutral flyers. And here's a look at the design of this thing. So maybe kind of buzz-ish. I would say it's been a little while since I've thrown one of those, but I think that's still apt. And you can see it's got a little bit of flashing on this guy as well. The selection plastic is premium plastic. It's not super grippy, but it does feel like the type of plastic that will probably um, kind of increase in grip as you continue to throw it. So those are the transition mid-range, nice straight flying kind of neutral all-arounder. You know, if you were to start with these as a starter pack, that's probably the one I would recommend learning to, to throw backhands and stuff with. And then this is a nice kind of flippy understable fairway. 7.6 and negative 2.1 definitely have some understability to them. The negative 2 is definitely spot on. You can see it also has a little bit of flashing. Would clean up easy with a disc doctor or however you want to do that if you were if you were so inclined, but it also break in over time. There's the stamp again. You probably can't read it. What's this light condition? There you go. Made in Germany. Um, so these have a nice flip up flight, kind of a leopardish maybe holds a turn real easy probably be a solid roller disc as well although i did not test that mostly threw them for little stand-up hyzer flips that flew real straight and real easy effortless flight so yeah i think these would make a nice little starter pack and always cool to check out stuff from a new company i have not shown off on the channel before and also a new uh country that i have not tried any plastic manufactured in before so thank you to Eurodisc for hooking it up not sure if I'm going to continue to uh, test these for, for any full reviews going forward but I'll probably hold on to at least at least some of these and continue to mess around with them so stay tuned or let me know if you want to see a full review on those I'd be happy to oblige and finally one of my main sponsors at this point as you guys know is NSH Custom Discs they are the world's first fully 3D printed PJ approved disc golf disc manufacturer one of the coolest things about this company is that they're all made to order. So like if you order one, especially if you get a custom color, uh, if they can do all kinds of different custom color combinations, kind of like this signature edition Joey Batleth here. But if you order one, it's made to order and sent out to you. You can do all kinds of custom designs and they can do stuff that no other company is really doing. Like the Joey Batleth here, you can see it's got multicolored rims. This is not a die. This is all just... 3D printed this way. It's got the clear tops. You can see my finger behind there so you can read the logo. Joey is a YouTuber and I believe he's got a YouTube channel. I'm sorry. I don't really watch a lot of disc golf YouTube stuff these days, um, but I know he's active on Instagram and stuff and that's where I chat with him. And Joey's been affiliated with NSH for a little bit, got himself a custom uh, signature disc as well. And this one is the Batleth and it has the secondary rim here that adds some extra stability. This thing's pretty beefy. Um, but yeah, you got that nice bright green, still easy to spot out there and on the course. And then it's got the clear top that gathers light, has a little bit of a textured feel under the hand and some good flexibility to it. Really, really nice disc and shout out to Joey. This thing's stable too, like a little bit too stable for my arm, not gonna lie. It uh, doesn't have much of like flip up. It's pretty stable all the way. It just kind of holds the line. So when I throw it, it tends to fly on hyzer pretty pretty strong. But I definitely have to, uh, I can't baby it. I have to lay into it to get it to fly. So nice, uh, more stable 3D printed disc. Should you want to try something from NSH Custom Discs, the Batleth would be a good one to uh, try if you like to throw more flat to maybe slight Anheuser releases and you want something that can handle some torque. Newest release is another double rim, and this is the Gene Talk. So it's got another um, double rim there, same kind of same kind of vibe to it. Really pretty kind of Jolly Rancher, like kind of Twizzlers candy red on this thing. I'm not a big fan of red, but the, I find this disc to be really really pretty looking i really like the colors on this thing and this thing is a really great flyer kind of reminds me of the nexus maybe a little bit more torque resistance and it just holds a nice laser line definitely one i will continue to throw i'll probably have to bug jason to send me one that's a little bit brighter color for filming um, i love the way this thing looks but it's a little tricky on camera really easy to spot you know on on the course but just not the best color for contrast against the trees and stuff, but that is the Gene Talk. Very nice straight flying kind of mid-range putter hybrid. Newest release from NSH Custom Discs. And finally, we have the Sector G7R10. 
So this is also 3D printed in the manufacturing setup in Arizona, the solar powered laboratory over there. Um, and this thing is not designed by NSH Custom Discs, but it is made in their facility. And this thing is real wild. So it's got multiple types of rim on the inside. So this rim here is much more traditional and kind of just has like a stable driver feel and it feels really nice on your power grip for me. I have like just enough room to put a power grip there. And then the other parts of the rim have this kind of more slanted softer edge which I hope you can see. See on that see the angle that's going on there. So I, I'm not exactly sure what the thought process and the science is. I'm sure you can look it up on sectors, uh, Instagram or whatever and learn more about this. But essentially it just provides different feel in the hand than just about any other disc you're ever going to try. It's got a really, really interesting feel. Again, I like to power grip it on that section there, but you can grab it on the kind of angled section as well. I don't know what kind of effect that will have in terms of your throw. Uh, you can see this thing's just grabbing a ton of light with that uh, clear top that NSH puts on there so you can read the logo the light coming through you got kind of the hulk colors on this thing this thing's pretty stable i only threw it a few times so far but you're gonna see i kind of torqued it over a little bit more than i wanted to but it still kind of came back um even with some wind out there in the field and all that it still came out faded back pretty stable and definitely got a really interesting feel I, i'm curious to see how the how this will continue to uh, to test for me because i want to see like if i throw from this softer edge here Will it like put less spin on it and maybe have it fly more stable? I believe it's actually more of like an aerodynamic choice in terms of the design. So again, NSH is not designing these. They're just making them for sector and hosting them on their website. But you can order these with my code. DiscGolfNerd10 will get you 10% off anything you want from NSH Custom Discs. Barring the uh, signature stuff like this and my Defiant and stuff just because those are already getting a percentage directly to the uh, player it's supporting. So shout out to NSH Custom Discs. We're going to have a custom uh, special edition version of the Disc Golf Nerd Defiant coming up here soon. So keep an eye out for that. Should be a lot of fun. Um, also, big shout out to Eurodisc. Always happy to work with a new company here on the channel. Check out the link in the description to all these different companies. And also, Jester Discs. The Peace Train, the Love, two for two with excellent discs based on the ones I've tested so far. And I look forward to seeing what else they produce on the market in the future. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate and love all of you. Huge shout out to the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team for their tireless support. We just cracked 15,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone, and I'm really happy and excited to continue to try to grow this thing and to hit that big milestone of 15,000. It's a long time in the works to get there, but this has always been an underdog channel. I've never had the money. I've never had the pro connections any of that stuff and I've still been able to make it work and provide some kind of an opportunity to uh, make a connection with the disc golf community out there. So thank you very much for all of your support. I will talk to you all very soon. Cheers.